Okay, we're going to be in conversation now with Capri Global on, uh, you know, a whole host of developments there, the liquidity scenario, partial credit guarantee scheme, and so forth. Let me actually uh, welcome in Rajesh Sharma, who's uh, joining us right here in the studio. Rajesh, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good to have Thank you back. You. <laughs> What's the liquidity scenario right now as you see it? What's the latest? So I think banks have started lending uh, more uh, in a confident manner where a lot of credit lines are happening. And besides, the uh, government and RBI have also uh, uh, taking a stock of the situation whereby some of the measures like classifying lending by banks to NBFC towards the retail lending up to 20 lakh rupees is classified as a priority sector lending. So that has given a big boost. Besides partial guarantee uh, credit scheme, now sanctions are happening. So I think that will also flow in a lot of liquidity. Combined with all these measures, I think liquidity will not remain a challenge. Okay. Right. How is it that you at Capri are faring in the current economic environment? So uh, last from uh, April onwards, we received about 1230 crore rupees fresh sanctions, uh, which is combination of uh, term loan and uh, sanction under partial credit guarantee schemes. In housing finance company, we received about 230 crore rupees. So I think we are well, we are up to the March. We, we have all the liquidity in place as per our budgeted plans. So liquidity is not a concern. However, uh, asset quality side, we are little still cautious. We are saying that there should not be much stress coming on the real estate related sector or any MSM units which are connected with that sector. So, uh, disbursement sides, while there is a demand, uh, with the cautious approach, we intend to grow about 20-25% this year. Okay. So, um, to delve more into that, your AUM growth, how is you seeing that? And do you think margins will continue to remain stable? So margins uh, on the contrary have improved because we see now lesser competition in the market. Some of the players are not disbursing to the full capacity. So margins are slightly improved and uh, disbursement front we will continue with our growth target of about 20 to 25% uh, in, in coming year. Um, in the recently announced partial credit guarantee scheme, have you got any sanctions and you know how many bank sanctions have you got over the last three months? So last three months we got almost about four uh, sanctions mm -hmm. and under partial credit guarantee we got a sanction from uh, one of the uh, leading public sector bank about 500 crore and 200 crore the sanction in principle we received in housing finance which is in process to get final approval. Okay, um, I know you spoke of the overall asset quality. So do you think that the robust internal process and the overall granular book will help aid your asset quality? Do you have any sort of projections? So asset quality, we feel ki it should remain in the uh, our budgeted uh, of about 2.5 to 2.75% at AUM level. While new NP will keep adding, the old will keep resolving and this cycle will remain consistent as far as the MSME loans are concerned. We are quite conservative. We have a customized underwriting models coupled with the analytics where we understand each geography in each uh, underlying property profiles. Further, they are very localized. What policy will work in Gujarat may not entirely be workable in, in Rajasthan. So for every state, there are localized policy for understanding these credit needs of MSME customers. So because of that, I think uh, we, our team has a good uh, deep understanding of uh, profile in the property booth. And because of that, our asset quality is quite stable. How is your own capital position right now and would it be sufficient to enable growth for you? So we have current capital adequacy is about 36% and if we continue to grow at the rate of 25% another two years we don't need capital for that kind of a growth. In case you wanted to target uh, the higher growth and you want to penetrate more areas and then that, that may only be the situation where we may look for the capital reach. You know, uh, if you can just give us an all-round assessment of the situation, the government has taken a lot of steps in order to aid the NBFC space as a whole. The last time you spoke, you did say that uh, there is a little more confidence as well. What is the situation at the current juncture? So now situation is quite improved in terms of now coming a clarity about the uh, liquidity lines available to the NBFC and housing finance companies. Uh, six months, eight months, there was a, was not clarity ki how the banking line will open up. So whether to 
continue the disbursement or only to take care of the repayments that was the challenge all the nbfc and hfc were facing but now in last uh, six months you have seen a lot of banks are opening up now sector is stabilized in terms of any surprises on the negative side so i think uh, the atmosphere is quite uh, much more comfortable and we can see this year much better than the last year in terms of the addition of the aum across the sector what about your borrowing mix over the next few years is it going to be a diversified one or a complete reliance on banks so for next two years i don't think we will be borrowing from mutual funds we will be borrowing only long term liabilities from banking system and uh, looking at the alm mismatches concern of regulator and investors i think that is a strategy we would like to follow thanks for joining us this morning yeah thank you thank, thank you. you so much all right um let's also get you uh, a look at some of the latest news from the startup world